Today I want to talk about the find command. Find command is very useful, but it has a reputation for being difficult to use and confusing for beginners who, understandably, perhaps just want to find a file. At its most basic, the find command recursively lists all files and directories in the provided path, like this. You can also apply a variety of filters to what find outputs. So, for example, you can use dash type F to display only files, or you can use dash type D to display only directories. Perhaps the most used filter is the dash name filter. You can use it to search for the exact name of a file. So, for example, we might run find videos dash name and then example one.wmv. You can also use wildcards to search for multiple files. So, we might, for example, use star dot mp4 to look for all of the mp4 files within this directory. Note that we had to wrap that pattern uh, in single quotes and that was to stop the shell from interpreting it before it's passed to the find command. You can use the dash min depth and dash max depth filters to control how deeply find recurses. So we might run for example find videos dash min depth 2 to find only files that are two directories deep. Or we might run find videos max depth one to find only files that are directly inside the path that we provided. You can combine as many filters as you want, so you can, for example, exclude the directories in that command we just ran by additionally specifying type f. Let's say you wanted to look for both .mp4 and .wmv files. You might be tempted to run something like this. Uh, find videos with a name filter of a star .mp4 uh, and a second name filter of star .wmv. Uh, but as you can see, that doesn't actually return any results. That's because when you combine filters, by default they are anded together. That means they both have to apply. Thankfully, you can use the dash o operator between filters uh, to make it so that only either one of them has to apply. You can also invert filters using the not operator. So, for example, if we wanted to find all of the files in this directory that are not .mp4 files, we might run find videos, dash type f to say we're looking for just files, dash not, dash name, star dot mp4. Some filters accept numbers as their arguments, and a great example of that is the dash size filter. So here, for example, we could look for files that round to nine megabytes in size by running find videos dash size nine M. And you can see that's returned a few files for us, but it's actually pretty unusual to be looking for a file with an exact size. So you can prefix the number with a plus to mean greater than nine maybe bytes. You can also prefix with a minus to mean less than nine maybe bytes. Uh, and this can be a pretty useful technique when you're, for example, running low on disk space and looking for some big files to delete. But it's also a great way for us to introduce the concept of actions. As well as filters, find can perform actions on the files and directories. One of the most basic is the delete action. So if we run our original command here, and tack dash delete on the end of it, uh, we can see we get no output. But if we run that original command, we can see that we now find no files with a size greater than nine megabytes. Of course, you do have to be really careful with the delete action in particular. Perhaps the most useful action, and the one that gets a reputation for being difficult to use, is the exec action. The exec action lets us run a command for every file or directory. So let's say, for example, we want to get the SHA-1 hash of every video file we have. Now, to get the SHA-1 hash of one file, we'd run something like SHA-1 sum, and then the file name of whichever file we wanted to get the hash for. Now, when using actions with find, I like to build the commands iteratively so that I know which files I'm going to be running a command against. So let's start by finding all of the video files with find videos dash type f to say just the files. And that's all of the files there. And then we can use the exec action to run sha1 sum against each one of them. So we do that by saying dash exec sha1 sum opening curly brace closing curly brace space, a backslash, and then a semicolon. And then we can see the SHA-1 sum of each of those video files in the output. Now, that looks a little bit complicated, but it's really not too bad when you break it down. 
the opening and closing curly brace represents the file name. But we also need to tell find where the command ends using a semicolon. The problem is, because our shell also interprets a semicolon to mean the end of a command, we need to escape it using a backslash. So it might look like a bit of a special ASCII incantation, but really it's not too complicated. Now, the find command has a ton more options than what I've mentioned in this video, and I highly encourage you to take a look at the man page by running man find. It can be a little bit overwhelming at first, but one useful thing to know is that by typing a forward slash and then a search term, you can look for more information on specific options. So we might look for more information, for example, on the max depth option. Now, you can hit N to move to the next search result and shift N to look at the previous search result. In the next video, we'll look at what to do when we need a little bit more power than what the exec action provides. Thanks for watching.